So you too, it's waking site, so I'm back before we do it. Make sure you like, comment, kind of subscribe as you always. Watch more videos. So previously I spoke on Ty actually being spotted in another one of Daisha's Snapchats. People are stating that she appeared to be pregnant. Now Ty did speak on this and she asked everyone to stop watching Daisha's videos to try to see if they can see her somewhere in the background. Then she goes on to post a description of fibroids. Now it states large fibroids can weigh several pounds and add weight to the abdomen and pelvis. In rare cases, they can weigh as much as four or five pounds. It also states fibroids can cause bloating and swelling in the abdomen and pelvis, which can make you look and feel like you've gained weight. This can be especially noticeable if you have multiple fibroids. In severe cases, the excess weight can make you appear pregnant. Ty then states, I have five. Now stay out my business. So basically stating that she has five fibroids. So now Ty is stating this is the reason. It is her business, mind you, but I don't like. I kind of don't believe it, even though, hey, mind you, it's her business. She don't have to admit nothing. She don't got to say nothing. She ain't got to clear no rumors. But the first time she tried, you know, she cleared up the rumor. Oh, I, I was bloated. You could have said this the first time, and then uh, maybe, probably, people, people probably would have left it alone because that's you know that don't sound like something that, that's, that people just want to be playing around with. But then again. <laughs> These fans, these supporters don't be care bro, at all. So you probably would have said that. They still would have said, no, that ain't it. So you never know, man. You never know. And that her stomach appears to look like she's pregnant. So you guys leave your opinions below, but let's move on to this next topic with Neek. A few days ago, I reported that Carmen was exposed for scamming. And since then, I've been getting multiple messages that they too have been scammed by someone that an influencer has posted. Now, Neek has fell into this category as well. Now, she posted this guy on her Instagram. I'm a assuming of course they're getting paid for this and then their supporters are going over to these pages and giving these people their hard-earned money so this young lady texts the guy and said hey neek sent me and he's basically asking how much money do you have to work with now she sent him a total of almost $1,400. So after she realized this was a scam, she tried to dispute the charges, but they were denied. Then she reached out to Neek and said, hey, please help someone you posted scam me. Normally don't come to. Yeah, that's, that's, sad. that's sad as hell. I understand, you know, when you have a, a, a you know, when you support somebody, when you have love with somebody, when you're, a fan of someone, you automatically believe the thing that the thing that they are doing or the thing that they're promoting. Don't stop doing that. Stop doing it. At the end of the day, again, these celebrities, these uh, rappers, these singers, these actors, they're just somebody entertaining with money. That's it. They're just a regular person. We all know somebody who has more money than us. We all know somebody. Whether that be a, a actual rapper, or whether that be a, a parent, or whether that be a business owner, we all know somebody with some money, right? So therefore, we don't put them on a no high pedestal. So stop putting these rappers on a on a high pedestal too. Stop automatically believing them just because you support them, you're a fan of them. They're they can be bold faced lying, mind you. When it comes to lying, you know, like if, if you if you're doing it for a long period of time, they say if it's multiple videos, eventually you go, you're going to see through it. But in one video, you're not going to see it. It's a hey, good acting. That's why a lot of these uh, YouTubers or rappers or whatever get into movies because they're good at acting and playing a role. Stop believing them just because they're they clouded up and you, you're a fan of them. Stop believing them. And then if you're going to take a chance, you know, sometimes, sometimes people say scared money don't make no money. So sometimes you got to take a risk with the money in order to double up your, your current money. Don't take a chance with fourteen hundred dollars, especially with that's your last. On it. you're taking a risk. You if you if you if you if you're going to chance it, I got fifty dollars. <laughs> I got fifty dollars, bro. What can you do? Therefore, if it double up, then all right, all right. Let, let me let me do it a hundred now. I still wouldn't go too far because hey, they might reel you in. Hey, 
you give me 50, I'm going to give you a buck 50. Or you give me 50, I'm going to give you 500. All right, all right, now you got 500, you're going to give them uh, 1,000. Now that's your, that's your, your actual five plus they money that they gave you. Well, now let me get that and I'm going to give you 3,000. Now they've got you all your money. You got to be smart. You got to be smart. That was the sad to say that was a, 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 a move you should not have. To. I don't want to say a, a dumb move because, hey, we all sometimes, when it comes to risk, sometimes we all take it just because, hey, we want to come up. But you got to be smart. The internet about anything. Um, but this video, I really hope, hits at Neek uh, from Neek uh, from Neek King. Um, Nick Brown, right? I don't know. She, this might be real. She might really be crying, but this seemed like it was fake. And I was, hey, I, I don't know. She might have hit on fifteen hundred. I know this is a scam. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna take this L just so I can do this and go viral and become uh, a TikToker or YouTuber, whatever. You never. I'm, I'm just saying it might be that. It might be. It don't look like it, but then again, you never know, man. I just lost everything. A guy she posted literally just took everything from me. I'm a mother of twins. And that was everything I had. And you I have that rich? Of everything. I wouldn't have did that with two so kids. Stupid. So hopefully this can just spread some awareness because maybe Neek and Carmen don't even know that these people are out here scamming their supporters. And if you have thought about maybe investing in one of these type of things, then now you know that they're just taking people's money and they're not getting anything in return. But let's move on to this next topic with Carmen, Corey, and Corey. No, that's why you don't post your uh your cash app in, in, in your bio. If you see somebody who, who has their cash app in, in their bio, something's wrong with them. You do not do that because you see how easy they took all her money, even though she sent it to them and then they, you know, they probably blocked or whatever. But it's some people who are actually like you probably send them, you probably send them your cash app or you, or you probably send them uh $5,000. Now they have your cash app name and they go to your, oh, your whole account and take everything. Gotta be careful with that, man. Be very, very careful with that. Corey's new girlfriend. Now, Corey's new girlfriend was on TikTok Live and people were asking her, like, don't you see what type of person Corey is? And she's stating, I'm not the type of girl that's going to allow Corey to treat me any type of way. I'm not like Carmen. Yeah, people only do what you allow them to do. And that's what I, and that's really just going to what I'm just going to stamp it on, like. Whatever y'all seen is whatever y'all seen any man like forget Corey. Whatever y'all seen any nigga do to any bitch in the past, uh, let me tell you like this: this shit not sliding over here. Period. It's, it never gave back. And so at the end of the day, I will leave. I will leave. I will kick your ass to the curb. What? I'm just like that's why the shit don't phase me because it's just like I'm a serial nigga lever. Didn't he? Didn't y'all get into an argument? He left you where you was at and went out. Then he what? That's the same thing he was doing to Carmen. Same thing. Fight, fight, not as worse, but the same thing. He left her high and dry. I'm going out. You want to see him be mad? You want to see him be in your face? I'm, I'm outside. What are you talking about? And you're still there, people, <laughs> ma'am, sis, queen. When you trust me, I don't know. Like <laughs> this is funny. Man. I didn't even know. I ain't, I'm not even gonna go too deep. But that's all right. That is that is my gift. I will wake up tomorrow and be off you. Get the fuck out my face. We're done. Like it's it's just it's simple math. It's to me it's simple math. Like I don't I don't even know like y'all yeah, don't have to worry about me. I'm good. I'm it's good over you. Not here. that easy, bro. If it's truly that easy for her, that means hundred percent she's playing a role. She's playing a role while she's there. If you can eat this, you're done. And, and say you've been locked in for some for some time, and you can you're done. You're you're you're, playing, you're portraying a role. You're playing a role. You're acting. You're not in and have you're not liking this person. You're not loving this person. Not nothing. It, yes, we must all have you know 
love and respect for ourselves too. Therefore, if somebody is doing you wrong, you know, you, you should stay. But again, when you're in that moment, when you're in that bliss, whatever, it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. If you can easy walk away, that means you didn't care at all. In my opinion. I can't tell all that sobbing I did. Yeah, for sure I did all that sobbing. Because that was, I also know how to take accountability. If I'm wrong in a situation and I did something wrong, now why the fuck? For most people that say that be their reason, I did something wrong. This person, they was in the right. I did something wrong to make them act the way that they acted. I'm sorry, babe. You were right. I was wrong. That's what that. When you're in love with somebody, when you like somebody, them are the situation that you put yourself in. Because you know for a fact you was right, they was wrong, but you don't want this person to leave. You don't want to you don't want to throw away your whole relationship over a you no know, over an argument. This is funny as hell. This if I'm wrong funny. in a situation, the situation to her own um, stuff. I'm gonna apologize and I'm gonna take accountability. That's just what that is. Yes, this is my room here. It looks really bad right now. Like I need to wash this. I need to watch this. But yeah, y'all, y'all gotta understand that you are every nigga I date is not gonna get the same side of me. What? Right. Every right. woman that I can get the same side can get the same get the same side of him. But right. that's it. Mm, like right. mm. just just life. Like it's just how it goes. Girl advice to you is don't care what people say or think about you. Yeah, I don't. Like, I trouble, um, and I feel like we work well together. And, like, being around him, like, I just feel at peace and stuff. And I care about him. And to be honest, to be looked, I've been with him for however many days straight. I've been with him since May 31st straight. Like, we have not left each other's presence a couple hours tops. But other than that, like we, we sit together every single night, we're together every single day. And I usually get tired of people so fucking fast. Like, or like I get tired of like, I hate being around somebody that long. She said May 31st, like May 31st was last year. <laughs> we're not even, at, we're not even in June 21st or, March, or June 31st yet. And you're, ma'am, that was a few weeks ago. No, but it's long for me because after two days, my nigga, I'm like, I don't want to be around you. Like, I don't want to be around your face, like, at all. And, um... He got you addicted already, then. I don't feel that way all the way yet, if that makes sense. Like, I do need my space and stuff like that. That's why, like, I'm over here. But, yeah, I just got here, y'all. I just got here. It ain't no thing, like... Honeymoon, honeymoon phase. I also... To my defense, y'all, I don't feel like I'm in a honeymoon phase. The reason why I don't feel like I'm in a honeymoon phase is because it has not been peaches and creams. I feel like honeymoon phase is like when you with somebody and y'all don't argue the whole time and y'all are having a ball and y'all are just happy and y'all are just oh so in love and y'all are just like, child. Yeah. Girl, get that money, we know. Okay, that's another comment that, like, I'm really tired of hearing. The reason why I'm tired of hearing that comment is because, like, what, like, what are y'all talking about exactly? Like, I don't, I don't see, like, like, I just, I, I <laughs> what? They must not know you're an actress. Yeah. Oh, she an actor? Okay. Check you out, man. Got her own back. And I'm not saying what money as in he's broke. I'm saying I'm not with him for money at all. He knows that. I know that. I don't need his money. Might, it might be real then. It might be real. She ain't there for the for the bag. She there. She ain't there for no clout. Well, suppose. 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the same question that I asked with when it came to uh, what's her name for uh, for Nick boyfriend, or whatever. Was she going live this much before she got with Corey? If so, then it, it, then it is what it is. But if not, come on, man. Come on. I mean, but then again, mm, it ain't like you going, ain't like you making a, 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 a bunch of YouTube videos back to back to back to back to back. So therefore, you're still not really conversating because you only just really, this is making that she keep doing. Stick that live. Even though you still, you know, you can get, you know, some cloud or, or some money off that, off that too. But I don't know. She might seem like she's more genuine than the than the person that she's portraying. Cause it's like it's like you be locked in, and then the next minute, like I don't know, like if you can, if I can rock with somebody and just ease this walk away, it wasn't real. I didn't care about you at all. I didn't care about you, the situation, nothing. If I could just easily walk away, whether I'm putting my my own self, my morals, or my values first, or, or, or whatever. It's still just not that easy to walk away. You're still going to sit there like, man, you need to change. If you can't change, and then after so many arguments, then, yeah, I'm done. But if you can just, I don't know about that one. Do you feel he changed? I don't know the Corey that y'all keep talking about. That's why this shit be so annoying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like you saying, he changed. He changed. He changed. I don't know what y'all talking about. Change from what? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. I mean, again, again, we are all on the outside, but we all seen the thing that he's been called out for by Carmen. Has he changed from that? Has he cheated on you? That's what they're asking you. Has he cheated on you? Has he been flirting and talking to other girls behind your back? That's what they're, oh, I don't know. Like, what, what has he changed? Man, stop being delusional. 